All right, guys, officially Sundance bound. I'm at the airport, about to get on the plane, hoping I have enough warm clothes. We'll see what happens when I get there. On the ground, in Salt Lake City right now, heading over to Park City, and I'm gonna start to feel everything out, but thankfully, I am not alone right now. I have two people who are going to give me some Sundance tips right now. That is exactly what you're doing, Jacqueline from Rotten Tomatoes. I didn't know that tips were a part of this ride. I, requ <laughs> I require a tip. Okay. If you were to give me one Sundance tip, what would it be? Well, I've kind of already given this one to you, but the one thing I will say is I want to see everything, but I always try to break up my day with at least one non-movie event. Either go to a panel, go to a cocktail party, and you should at least play the network with somebody at least once a day. That's my, like that that's tip. my tip. All right, Matt. Matt Kohlberg from Collider. You know who this is. The pressure is on. Can you top that tip? I would say you have to find a way to scramble because no one really knows what the breakout film of Sundance is going to be before you get there. It usually just comes from word of mouth. So just listen to people, talk to people in line, find out what they like, find out what your peers are talking about, and then find the publicist who can get you a ticket to that screening because you probably don't have it yet. I have a follow-up question for you, Matt. Sure. Right now, I want you to predict Steve Weintraub's tip to me. If Steve is going to give me one Sundance tip, <laughs> what is it going to be? Hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> Walk faster. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. All right, to Park City we go. trying to tell you that we're here in Park City and after being here at Sundance for 13 years I'm going to tell you the most important thing you need to know tonight and for the entire trip. There's a restaurant right there called, uh, what's it called, Davianos? The Vanzas. <laughs> the Vanzas. That makes, listen, I've been here for 13 years, I'll never get it right. Inside this restaurant is uh, cheap and good food. Uh, you can get a great chicken sandwich, slices of pizza are awesome, and unlike all the places on Main Street, and Adam and Matt will attest, you can get in and out in relatively a relatively fast fashion. Okay. It's not usually terrible. They'll back me up on this, but it's the best food you're going to get uh, for the next few days. I feel like we were kind of there. He included the move fast thing. And yet he can't remember the name. <laughs> walking in this festival. So right now it is making my way to Eccles for my first screening of the festival. Off to go see Native Sun. So let's get to it. That is it. The interview suite is wrapped, finished everything, had one last super chaotic interview that I had a little too much fun with, and that's when we broke out the blue moon, and my water bottle might be filled with beer right now, and that might be uh, stupid to do, but I don't care. I'm celebrating right now, and I'm off to see a movie. to 
go. This is my earliest screening yet, an 8.30 screening that I should get to fairly early. This is also the part of the festival where I kind of backtrack and I start to pick up tickets for all the movies that I didn't get tickets for originally that are being buzzed about right now. And I'm off to uh, Blinded by the Light at this very moment, which is, I guess, one of the buzziest films of the entire festival, one that is poised to have a very, very big sale soon. So I need to see it. I'm excited to see it. Let's go. I'm Ray from JoeBlow.com, and I'm hungry, and I want dinner. <laughs> so, this is our last night. Is this your last night, or just my last oh, night? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm actually in Salt Lake tomorrow, but uh, okay. it's my last night in Park City, I guess. My last night in Park City as well, and what better way to wrap up seeing 20 plus videos, doing a ton of work, writing up all those interviews and everything, than with a big, juicy steak. I want steak so badly. No, we're going to get steak. I want steak. Guys, I was so excited about this meal that I dug in before I did this video. But check this out! Did you actually doubt me? Of course I was going to finish that. Maybe, maybe Chris helped with a couple pieces of broccoli, but I finished that steak. And that's it. Nine days later, that is a wrap on my very first Sundance Film Festival. I'm exhausted right now on so little sleep, but it was worth every second of it. This was incredible. I got to hang out with so many great friends and colleagues that I haven't seen in so long. I got to meet filmmakers I admire. I saw work from filmmakers who I'm first discovering them this festival. I saw upwards of 20 films. This is wild. I just feel so grateful to have been here. I hope I get to come back. This was something else. Thank you guys for watching this video, for sharing this experience with me. A huge thank you to Michael from the Patreon team for suggesting that I make it because this is one heck of a memory here and I'm glad we get to save it, share it together. This was incredible. Oh, I love Sundance.